Hi guys, I'm Shmi and hello to you from Autosport International and the Performance Car Show, the first destination for my new Shmi mobile, the Aston Martin Vantage GT8. Literally the last two days, I collected it at the factory and drove it straight here to put on display on our sort of little stand that we've got here alongside Mr. JWW's 675 LT Coupe as well. Kind of the YouTuber's stand with the two cars, looking very nice and actually the orange of the LT working very nicely with the GT8 as well. Now the lighting in here is a little bit funny so you'll have to excuse me but we're going to go on a little walk around and take a look at some of the highlights. Most of the show extends out that way of what's going on at Autosport beyond these two. But I can tell you one thing, it is literally tearing me up slightly that my brand new car that I've only driven about 32 miles is sat right there and it's going to be here for a couple of days but the awesome thing is that means there's an opportunity for you guys to come down and check it out and have a look as well uh, I'm looking very fresh and clean here on the stand so let's go take a look around let's go exploring and seeing what see what's going on at Autosport now I'm shooting this video right at the end of the first trade day here at Autosport and the reason for that is because I'm presenting in the live action arena and so far it has been awesome fun but I'm going to come to you also with a video kind of behind the scenes at the stunts, the cars, the action and everything that's going on and what's involved in doing a show like that so that you guys who are able to come here and watch it can see a little bit more. But to get us started walking around, there's an M4 GTS I've spotted just here. I think there are a few around, so maybe we'll be able to find one that we can see slightly better shortly. Um, we've got all sorts of random cars uh, to spin the camera this way. Um, you guys might know a little bit more about what we're looking at than I do, but we've got the Porsche Club up here with a whole series of different uh, Porsches, all looking very nice, and I'm gonna go straight to that. Look how hidden away that is at the back there. Firstly, the GT3 RS, secondly, there we have the Ford GT tucked in on the piston heads and auto car stand here and a 570S GT4 and an F-Type SVR convertible as well. But Ford GT, this is actually a perfect opportunity to talk about it. Although it's a little bit sad really that probably the most awesome car in the show, I say that when I haven't actually seen very much of the show yet, it's tucked into a little corner like this. But Ford GT, um, everybody's asking when my car is going to come and unfortunately it's actually a long time away um, so anybody asking what sort of spec I'm gonna do on mine or anything like that I'm afraid I have absolutely no idea at this stage because my order window doesn't open until nine months before my car arrives and I don't expect to see my car arriving until at least two years from now so that means over a year until I do my spec but when the car does come I will give you as much information as I can um, and obviously shoot plenty of videos because look at the thing it is awesome it is so low so wide and look at the way you sort of see through the whole thing here the aero on it is ridiculous it has the race mode that sits it down on the ground and this rear wing hydraulically comes up and one of the coolest things i didn't know until recently is there are, there are actually some sort of flaps on the underside of the wing for extra aero as well so more downforce and the like but basically everything about that car is fiendishly exciting um, it just seems to be oddly tucked away. If you're going to have that here at the show, it should be out front somewhere. So just quickly, 570S GT4, I think that would be an awesome way to do some racing. Um, it's probably over 150 grand or something for the car, but you can take that out and have an awful lot of fun, I imagine. And then the F-Type SVR, which was one of the sort of questions I posed a little bit recently, that if my uh, AMG GTR ends up being a little bit delayed, would I be interested in buying something like that as a short-term filler? And uh, I guess we shall see. I'm going to continue and see what else we can find. The Aston Martin DB11 come round to look at a very yellow California T in the yellow lighting. That looks a little bit strange. Then here we have the Honda NSX in a stunning blue. I should probably make note of that paint coat because it does look really, really nice. I enjoyed the press drive a lot in the new hybrid NSX. And here we've got the Lexus LC500H. I don't actually know as much as I probably should about Lexus, um, outside of the LFA, of course. Okay, what is that behind? Let me come through here. The Turismo Evolution GT, which kind of looks like the Gambala Mirage GT. Okay, what is this? Look at, okay, I, I'm, I'm a little bit speechless. This is based on a Boxster previous gen, well two gens, previous Boxster I suppose, and they do them on the MR2 as well. Okay, let's move swiftly on <laughs> to Liberty Walk. I popped up to see these two cars at the Performance Centre recently, Liberty Walk Europe, where we've got the 458 Italia, 
and the Aventador. And we heard and saw both of these in action, um, which, yeah, were pretty cool. Check that video out if you haven't already. They are ridiculous on the RX suspension, how low they sit. Basically, the side skirt and the front splitter are pretty much down, touching the ground. Um, you can obviously put them up for driving. Um, okay, let's keep moving on. This is the Koi's auction area at the end here. Keep wondering who I like the heritage style GT40 there. That's cool. I think there'll be a few people ordering heritage uh, golf livery on the um, new GT as well. Hey, that's cool. Raw Weld. Badass. And we've got the, that was funny, the GMR. Aston Martin Vantages with supercharger up to 610 horsepower. So there's a question for you. Should I add a supercharger to my GT8, even though I've barely driven it? Would that be cool? Lots more power, 600 horsepower, who knows? Over here, we've got the Noble stand where we have the speedster of the M600, this time with the paddle shift. I can see the paddles on the back of the steering wheel. Now, I drove an M600 for the first time quite recently at Super Veloce Racing and had a really good time. That thing is quick really, really quick, and with the manual, it was awesome as well. Now here, I can see the BAC Mono, and this one is pretty nice because it's finished in a dark blue carbon fiber. So carbon panels, as you can see, and also carbon fiber wheels too. I'm not sure if you can quite see that. There we go. That was a nice touch. Looking good. That thing looks like a lot of fun. I need to drive it again. I um, have done, but not recently. Let's keep exploring. Now then. What is this? A gold Cadillac. Um, is it actually gold? 1931 Roadster, hand gilded in 23.6 carat gold leaf. The entire car. What is that about? There's some strange stuff at this, at this show. That next to that. Onwards. The little Arbath 124 Spider, and I've just put a pillar right between us. Had fun driving that in Italy as well. We've got a nice little Porsche stand, the GT3 R, oh, then we've got a GT3 Cup, excuse me, as I squeeze through. Then we've got the GT4 Club Sport. I went for a hot lap at the Nürburgring Nordschleifer in one of those, um, just to do with a VLN race, had a lot of fun. Then the 718 Cayman 2. So we have some sort of normal, normal being relative road cars as well. Um, some crazy things like vans and rangers um, and then lots and lots of race cars. I mean Autosport is of course a motorsport event so all of this is basically about racing. As we come down I can see a Formula 4 car over that way but we'll stop by the new Radicals first as well. So Radicals always setting ridiculous laps and races times and everything and that's the RXC Turbo GT3 and then this, this is the new car, the R Evi, sorry, excuse me, SR1 Cup. And then beyond that, the SR8. Um, some friends driving those have a lot of fun. Hey, carbon fiber, RXC Spider just up there. Basically, there's not much that is faster than these around any race circuit anywhere. This is kind of a GTS version of the M2 by Evolve, so it's got the orange highlights uh, that you are familiar with probably from the M4 GTS. Huge splitter at the front and then the wing at the back. That looks pretty cool. Love to uh, meet up with them and have a go with that. There we've got a Litchfield Nismo GTR as well. What is that? I, I don't even begin to know. KTM Expo, this is literally a whistle stop tour. We've got a little bit of Lotus, this is basically the Seb Delaney Club. Nice display here with some of the Formula One cars, also Jaguar's new Formula E car. Now that was one of my favorite days of last year, driving in a Formula E car at the Battersea Circuit. The McLaren Honda car, well you can see them all, they're all lined up here uh, with the Mercedes AMG where the crowd is standing at the front uh, lurking in the back there. But the big question is, what's going to happen in 2017 Formula One? It seems to be, well I guess we don't know who's going to be driving for which team and we don't know who's going to win it. Will somebody be able to complete? 
would compete with Lewis Hamilton? Will it be Max Verstappen? Who knows? A stop by the Janetta stand where there we have the G55 GT4 and on this side we have the G55 Super Cup car. Now I actually get to drive one of these in the live action arena during the show. I'm driving the proper Janetta race car and it's awesome and I'll hopefully get some behind the scenes of that little drive for you in my video tomorrow. Fingers crossed if I can film that it might be quite difficult but I can tell you it's awesome and I'm only getting to drive it a tiny little distance. Um, having an awful lot of fun while I do. One of a number of the Vantage GT3 cars that are on display here. This is becoming about how many YouTubers I can fit in one video because here we have the Praga, which is the car that Ewan Olsen recently drove. Probably this exact one, to be honest. And um, I think he got about a bazillion views on it and it seems the internet rather loves it. So there is the Praga R1R. Then this is one of the cars that's been released here. This is the Litchfield LM20, 675 horsepower and only 20 of them to be made to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Litchfield. Now I'm sure the GTR lovers out there will be big fans of this thing. Litchfield do some great work on the cars. And I'm sure this is just as good. 650S GT3 looking pretty nice in the white and blue. I like that livery. And here we have another car lurking away, the Bugatti Veyron from Oakley Design on the Dimag stand. So carbon wheels again, we'll get around to that in a moment. But this car, I shot a video with when Oakley Design launched it. It's particularly sort of special, it's a one-off with some very glittery yellow paintwork and lots of carbon fiber and custom modifications by Oakley Design. And we got to play around with it, hear it, and show through absolutely everything, all the things they've done to it. But let me come in on the wheels so you can see the carbon. That is the thing right now. Carbon wheels mean lighter um, unsprung mass, so the mass at the edge of the, you know, is hanging out on the wheels. And that thing, certainly one of the highlights of this show. There are quite a few Focus RSs around here. They'll take exhaust system here, but also, okay, have a look at this. Golden heat shield. So you can have that in your McLaren F1, you can order it from MSO for other McLarens, or you can have it in your Focus RS as well. That's kind of cool. FF Corsa have a nice dark blue 458 Challenge and then next to that the 488 GT3 car as well. Kind of a funny front end on that but I imagine it is seriously quick around a track. Here we have the Mini Challenge car and this is quite exciting because we've been talking about me maybe having a go in the Mini Challenge driving one of these, the 255 horsepower front wheel drive race car for my second ever race. Now, I did the Audi TT Cup this year, similar setup with the front wheel drive, but driving in the Mini Challenge could be an awful lot of fun. So we're talking about that, and I will obviously let you know if I'm going to be able to do so at some point later this year. This has been a whistle-stop tour of Autosport. Some of the highlights, but there's a lot more that I haven't pointed my camera at, and obviously the live action arena side of it too. So do come down if you get the opportunity to. We have this kind of stand here, which feels really awkward and weird for me, having my face there on the wall but uh, there's a bit more going on as well, and James has the other side over there. But you can come down, the GTA is gonna be here all weekend. The LT will be in the live action arena all weekend as well, with me being involved in the shows. So an awful lot of fun. I hope you can make it. If you can, I'll see you here. Um, I'm around in the paddock. If you have a paddock pass after the live shows, and we'll try and arrange some times on the public days, Saturday and Sunday, to be back here for some mini meetups on the stand too. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Whistle Stop Tour, and I will catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.